just like to announce, uh, as of yesterday, the Top 100 Videos uh, music widget just launched. Um, you can go to AOLmusic.com and download it. Uh, if you go to the download page, uh, you'll see it has a snapshot of all the features, as well as a, a quick and easy download. Uh, the content's all free. Uh, the top tier of music video content off of AOL Music. We'll be opening it up to more artists soon. Um, we're also really excited to, to announce a favorite artist widget, which we launched um, just a little while ago, a couple weeks, uh, in Facebook. And it's integrated with the profile system, features uh, the top artists off AOL Music, and uh, users can come in. Uh, this is actually the, the widget on my Facebook page. They can see uh, the latest photos and news and video content, as well as customize their widget with uh, cool skins and um, cycle through all their related artist video content. At AOL, we're always looking for ways to uh, bring our content what we like to refer to as atomizing our content. So we started with the AOL client, the big beefy application. And then what we did is um, we're in a totally different model, obviously, open web. Uh, just think of it instead of having one giant application, we want to have thousands of applications that are very targeted to specific types of content and users. And we let users have it the way they want it. They don't have to come to our websites. Um, they can customize it. They can embed it on a third party site. Um, we just want to get the word out there and help to grow our audience uh, and provide it in a way that users um, you know, want to consume it. So uh, syndication is a big part of that. Uh, the desktop, why we went desktop, is basically uh, created an uh, amazing opportunity for the kind of design and development control that you don't have on the web, uh, which has been amazing. So like being able to you know, have all these docked views and full screen views with overlays and have it perform much better than you would normally on the web when you have all the other technologies interfering with it. That was the main motivator. Um, it actually started as a two-week prototype by one of our developers. Um, so it didn't start in the typical process you know, with UI or design or business specification. It was an idea. The prototype proof of concept worked. Um, Rich Foster, our creative director, spent a lot of time doing, uh, you know, refining the UI and the, and the design for it, which is extremely slick um, and, you know, ended up turning out to be more like a real physical product. Um, and then, in addition to that, we just kept evolving it, working with the Adobe folks um, to evolve from an alpha Apollo all the way up through this beta 2 release uh, in time for our launch. So we just launched it yesterday. Uh, we've been getting some good uh, exposure and press and some um, really good feedback from users. Probably the best sign overall is that as soon as we, um, we had it at kind of an alpha level, all of us just started running it and playing it you know, just for fun, which is always a good sign when you, you actually just want to use it. So like some of the things that we wanted to make sure we maintain from the original prototype is it's a very clean, simple UI, very uh, intuitive, um, not trying to pack too many things in, more trying to do one or two things really, really well. Um, in terms of the actual technology, uh, we leveraged some things like uh, accessing the local file system, uh, using the MySQLite database to, to store bookmark information for videos, um, doing the auto update uh, so that we could push new updates and features to users. Uh, doing the badge installer so that when users actually go to the page to download it, it's a simple install. They click one button, it detects if they have error, uh, it installs it, and then installs the application. Um, we're also using JavaScript and HTML and other, other um, aspects of the technology to support the content. Um, we're using our web services, APIs, uh, to serve the videos. Uh, and then we have, have some other little integrated features like we're exposing the, um, the video code, a code snippet so you can actually embed the clip on your web page um, and then integrating like a share and, and aim integration so that if you want to reach out to your friend and share the video you click a button and it actually launches your aim client, sends the instant message and you can have a dialogue about the video that you're watching. It was uh, very easy to go from AS3 to AIR. Um, literally wrapping the app uh, in air took a number of days. Uh, in some cases it took less than a day for some of the simpler apps that we've done. So it was a very easy process. Um, you know, we, we wanted to leverage AS3 so we could do a bunch of custom components. Um, Flex is also something that we're looking at in the future. 
uh, but it was it was a very seamless process. And the great thing is that uh, because it's so easy, we can develop once for many formats. So we develop a widget that appears on the web, and then we can develop a widget that appears in the desktop almost in parallel. Um, so we found that to be pretty powerful. And then in addition to that, some of the baked-in features that you only get with Air, um, like the Express install and the SQLite database have been really awesome to work with and invaluable. And I think we're gonna, you're, you're gonna start to see them being leveraged a lot more in the future. I would say, um, you know, we started early on with Adobe. Um, to their credit, they opened it up to developers like us very early on. So, you know, there have been, we've worked through bugs with them. We've also, I think, helped to inform some of the new features that they've been adding along the way. Um, you know, it's not a, a gold master product yet, so there are still some issues. Um, we're looking specifically at deeper integration with HTML, JavaScript, and other types of content. Um, there's still some limitations with, uh, with Air right now, um, but that's something that they're aware of and we're raising bugs, and I think the more the community can do that as well, uh, it's cert we raise up you know, to the surface what's most important, um, and Adobe's been extremely responsive with that. So I would say yes, there are some issues. Um, we're working through them. For the most part, AS3 development um, and integrating in Air is seamless. Um, we, haven't seen a, we haven't had to do a lot of extra coding, um, so that part's been very easy. We are, we are looking to integrate HD content uh, into this app. We're going to soon be opening it up to more artists, uh, more videos, and also movie content where it's going to be uh, perfect. And so we're really excited about integrating that type of content, uh, especially when we go to full screen in some of the other states. I mean, as you can see, it runs pretty well on the monitor. And uh, you know, I think it could be a pretty good on-demand uh, application. We're going to be supporting genres and playlists. Um, we're uh, we're just looking to see uh, you know how we can just raise the bar and open it up um, to lots of different types of content. On our service, we have TV content, movie content, a um, lot of music video content, obviously original productions like sessions. So we're, we're looking to open it up to all of those opportunities soon.